This is the video for section 2.3 word problems with complementary and supplementary angles. Please follow along with your video worksheet. The first section has all of the terms, definitions, and diagrams that I will be using, and the second section has all the example problems that I will be showing you. Please fill in the worksheet as you watch the video. Let's begin. Now we're going to begin this lesson with a dictionary. Fill in the following table with a word or phrase from the video along with what it means when you translate it into math symbols. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be having some word problems and what we're going to be doing is word by word translating the word you see into math symbols so that we can solve it using algebra. So the first and one of the most common things that we're going to be seeing is the word is. Whenever you see the word is in one of these problems you're going to substitute an equal sign. The second thing that you're going to see is they're going to talk about an angle or the angle. Whenever you see that, you're just going to write X. Let's get a little more space here. The next thing that you'll see is combining these two things. They'll say the measure of an angle is, and then there'll be some more things after that. Whenever you see that, you combine those and write x equals. You'll also see things like twice or three times something. Okay, when you see that, if you see twice, it really means two times. So you're going to say two and a big parenthesis, and whatever comes after the word twice is going to go in between those parentheses. All right, the next thing you're going to see is they'll tell you like three greater than a number. If you see that three greater than, Now this doesn't mean the greater than symbol that you're used to seeing, it really means add. So when you see three greater than something, what you're going to do is take that something and say plus three, and I'm going to want you to put that on the end or after the something. All right, next is very similar to greater than, it's going to be less than. So four less than something. And again, this is not the less than symbol that you're used to seeing. It really means subtract. So four less than that something is that something minus four. Now with these two last things that we did, the four less than and the three greater than, it's really important that you make sure you put it after. So write the number at the end. So the three or the four goes at the very end. All right, the next thing that we're going to see is the complement. Now, whenever you see the complement, a lot of people think 90. Now it's very similar to that, but whenever you see the complement, what you're going to be writing is 90 minus x, because technically that's what a complement is. It's the difference between 90 and the angle that you have. So you're going to be writing 90 minus x whenever you see the complement. And lastly, the supplement. And very similar to the complement, when you see the supplement, you're going to be writing 180 minus x. Because the supplement of an angle really is the difference between 180 and that angle. Now feel free to use this dictionary as we go through the next problems. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be color coding and kind of going back to this dictionary and translating word by word, and then we'll be solving the algebra problem. All right, here's our first example. Number one, 
the measure of an angle is 14 degrees less than the measure of its complement. Find the measures of the two angles. All right, so we're going to take this phrase by phrase. The first thing I'm going to translate is the measure of an angle is. Whenever we see that, we're just going to write x equals. The next thing I'm going to look at is the 14 degrees less than. So 14 degrees less than. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to say blank minus 14 because the less than really does mean subtract and the 14 does need to go at the end. Now whatever I see after this is going to be going in that blank. So it says the measure of its complement. So complement, remember, was 90 minus x. So that will be filling the blank. All right, there's our algebra problem all set up, ready to go. Now we really don't need those parentheses in this case, so I'm going to rewrite this problem saying x equals 90 minus x minus 14. The next thing I'm going to do to solve this problem is going to combine my two like terms here, and I have x equals 76 minus x, and then to solve for x I'm going to add x to both sides, and I get 2x equals 76, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 38 degrees. Now, a lot of people think they're done at this point, but you're really not, because the last sentence here says, find the measures of the two angles. And that's the important thing. They want two angles here. So the first angle that you just found, 38 degrees, is one of my two angles. And then I'm going to look back in the sentences for the words complement or supplement. If I see the word complement, like I do in this problem, I'm going to find my second angle by taking 90 minus the angle I just found, 38. If I see the word supplement, I'm going to find my second angle by going 180 minus the angle I just found. So in this case, it does say complement. So the other angle is found by going 90 minus 38, which is 52 degrees. So the two angles they're asking for are 38 degrees and 52 degrees. Okay, here's our second example problem. The measure of an angle is six degrees more than twice the measure of its supplement. Find the measures of the two angles. Now we start the second one the same way we started the first one. It says the measure of an angle is. Whenever we see that, we write x equals. Then we see six degrees more than. More than again means add. So I'm going to say blank plus six, because remember more than and less than need to be written at the end. Next thing is the word twice. Now, after the more than or less than, whatever we see after that, we're going to put in the blank. So twice will go here, two parentheses, and then we see the measure of its supplement. And supplement inside that parentheses is 180 minus x. Find the two angles. So there's our equation. The first thing I'm going to do is distribute this two inside the parentheses, and that gives me x equals 360 minus 2x and then plus 6. Then I collect my like terms right here and I get x equals 366 minus 2x. Then we add 2x to both sides and we get 3x equals 366 divide by 3 and x equals 122 degrees. And again, just like the other one, we're not done yet. We need to keep reading, and it says find the measures of the two angles. And we only have one angle so far. So our first angle is 122 degrees, and then we look for the word complement or the word supplement. In this case, we do see the word supplement, so to find my second angle, I subtract 180 minus 122, and I get 58 degrees for my other angle. So the two angles they're looking for are 122 degrees and 58 degrees. Here's our third example. 
the measure of the supplement of an angle is 20 degrees less than 4 times the measure of the angle. Find the measures of the two angles. Now this one's a little bit different. We start with the measure of the supplement of an angle is. So since we talk about the supplement, we're going to say 180 minus x, and then the is again is equals. Then the next thing we see is 20 degrees less than. So I say 20 degrees less than is blank minus 20. And to fill that blank, I keep reading, and it says 4 times the measure of the angle. So that fills the blank. 4 times the measure of the angle, which is just x. All right, now, um, the parentheses are a little unnecessary here, so I'm going to rewrite saying 180 minus x equals 4x minus 20. Then, subtracting 4x from both sides, I get 180 minus 5x equals negative 20. Then, subtracting 180 from both sides, I get negative 5x equals negative 200. Then dividing both sides by negative 5, I get x equals 40 degrees. And again, I look back at that last sentence and it says find the measure of the two angles. So my first angle is 40 degrees. And to find the second one, I look for the word complement or the word supplement. And we see the word supplement in this problem. So to find the second angle, I take 180 minus our 40 degrees. And that gives me 140 degrees. So the two angles we're asking for here are 40 degrees and 140 degrees. All right, our last example problem here, number four, says the supplement of an angle is 12 more than three times the complement. Find the angle, the complement, and the supplement. Now this one here asks for three angles, so we'll keep that in mind when we get close to the end of the problem. All right, so this beginning says the supplement of an angle is. So just like the last problem, we're going to start with 180 minus x because it says supplement, and then is means equal. Then I see 12 more than, so that's blank plus 12. Then it says three times, so that fills the blank, three parentheses, the complement. So the complement fills the blank, which is 90 minus x. And then we're going to distribute here the three into this parentheses and get rid of the unnecessary parentheses on the left hand side. And that gives us 180 minus x equals 270 minus 3x plus 12. Then, collecting our like terms over here on the right, I get 180 minus x equals 282 minus 3x. Then we add 3x to both sides. That gives us 180 plus 2x equals 282. Then we subtract 180 from both sides. That gives us 2x equals 102. Dividing by 2, that gives us x equals 51 degrees. Now, this problem says find the angle, the complement, and the supplement. So, the angle that we're looking for is going to be the 51 degrees that we just found. The complement is going to be 90 minus 51, which gives us 39 degrees. And the supplement is 180 minus 51 degrees, which is 129 degrees. This concludes the video on word problems on complementary and supplementary angles. Thanks for watching.